heroes need to dig the tree. How does someone end up? I served for Elden after they all took Queen Honora offered. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. I understand Logain joined the Grey Wardens after the Blight ended. Yes. A mercy, people called it. Serving the Order they say he betrayed. He could have led Ferelden to greatness. Instead, he lives in exile, fighting Darkspawn until the day he dies. Yes, thank you. I'll go back to the village, miss. These roads aren't safe. The Grey Wardens thank you for your aid, Inquisitor. What are you doing in Crestwood? Looking for another Warden, Sir Loghain. He's wanted for questioning. If you see him, I'd keep your distance. What have you been told about this rogue Warden? Warden Commander Clorel ordered his capture. I can say no more than that. Make her willing, Loghain will lay down his arms when we meet. Glad you made it. I just got here myself. My contact with the Warden should be at the back of the cave. A group of Wardens were protecting a villager from corpses, out near Crestwood. They were likely hunting my friend. I'm glad they didn't come looking for people to help in here. They might well be good men, but they've been given bad orders. Let's go. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. Warden Loghain Muktia. I believe we have a common cause, Inquisitor. There was a Loghain who joined the Wardens after he lost Ferelden's throne. The traitor Terran. Yes. I've heard all the names. Then that's you. I've been a Warden for ten years. They will never fully consider me theirs. Something I've had cause to be grateful for recently. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the Wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though, might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? I believe so. After Hawk killed Corypheus, Weishaupt was content to forget the whole affair. If an archdemon can survive seemingly mortal wounds, why not Corypheus? I began to investigate. I found evidence, but no proof. And then, soon after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker, why didn't you tell me? I didn't believe it concerned you. You think Corypheus is using this calling to control the Grey Wardens? Not directly, no. Calling warns a Grey Warden that his corruption will soon claim him, that he is dying. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Thanks to Corypheus, I believe. If the Wardens fall, who will stop the next blight? That is what's panicked my brethren. So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling, and they're falling for it. Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I don't know. Even as a senior warden, I knew little about him. The wardens believe it to be real, despite my warnings about Corypheus. And that is all that matters at the moment. You said all the wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? And also you, Blackwall? Yes. It's like an itch in the back of my mind. At times, it's barely there at all. Then I find myself starting to hum it under my breath. It is vile. I can understand why so many Wardens have gone mad from fear of it. I do not fear the calling. 
And worrying about it only gives it power. Anything Corypheus does will only strengthen my resolve. How can Corypheus make all these wardens hear the calling? I don't know. It's likely part of his nature. Corypheus is, or was, once a mortal man. The Blight owns him, but it did not create him. Wardens are tied to the Blight through the Darkspawn. That is how Corypheus influences Warden minds. Somehow he is using that power to mimic the calling. So the Wardens are making some last desperate attack on the Darkspawn. A Blight nearly destroyed Ferelden. A Blight without Wardens to stop it might well destroy the world. Warden Commander Clarell proposed a ritual involving blood magic. A desperate measure to prevent further Blights. When I protested the plan, called it madness, they tried to arrest me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It's an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. Let's go. If we wish to stop my fellow wardens, we should get to their ritual tower in the Western Approach. I heard something of what happened in Ferelden. How is it you weren't executed? When your mistakes are public, everyone feels they have the right to a personal apology. In the final hours of the Blight, the Wardens were short-handed. They needed every soldier they could get. For the rest of my life will be my penance. How did you end up an enemy of the Wardens again? When the calling began, I searched as much as anyone for an answer. I protested the rituals, but faced little resistance until I began to investigate the death of Corypheus. Warden mages branded me a traitor and attacked. When I defended myself, Clarell ordered my death. I'd like to know more about Warden Commander Clarell. I've served under her since coming to Orlais. She seemed fair before, dedicated. Perhaps that was the problem. I, more than anyone, know the cost of too much dedication. Do you think Clarell is acting of her own volition? Calling does not control minds, and I doubt Clarell could fall to Corypheus without others noticing. Whatever mistakes she makes, she makes of her own accord. Hopefully, we will learn more in the Western Approach. Corypheus was imprisoned by the Wardens, right? So they must know who or what he is. Secrets are a habit with the Wardens. One that costs many lives. Some knowledge is too dangerous to share. I knew little of Corypheus, and that was more than most. No one thought that knowledge could be vital. I'll talk to you later. Of course. I met Loghain long ago, when I was a Grey Warden. Odd, he should be one now, while I am not. His suspicion of us bordered on the fanatical. It doesn't surprise me you found the Wardens mixed up in all this. From first-hand experience, you should be wary any time my old order is involved. Yes? You said that Clarell was Warden Commander. I thought that the hero of Ferelden led the Wardens. There's more than one Warden Commander. Each oversees a region, most often a single nation. The woman you speak of was Warden Commander of Ferelden. She disappeared some time ago. It's possible she joined the rest of the Wardens, although I cannot say for certain. I'll talk to you later. Of course. Good. 
Whatever's happening has already started. We saw lights coming from the tower. It has to be blood magic. I hope we can stop them before more people get hurt. You take point. I'll guard your backs. Wait! No! Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong! Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice. Oh. Find it just as I showed you. Inquisitor, what an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Eremond of Virantium, at your service. You're no warden, mage. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? Wardens, this man is lying to you. He serves an ancient Tevinter Magister who wants to unleash a blight. That's a very serious accusation. Let's see what the wardens think. Wardens, hands up! Hands down. Corypheus controls them. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. In desperation, they turned to the Imperium. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarell full of sympathy, and together... We came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. Corypheus marching across Orlais with an army of demons. That was in the future I saw at Redcliffe. And now you know how it begins. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Thedas. So Corypheus influenced the Wardens and made them do this ritual? <laughs> made them? No! Everything you see here, the blood sacrifices to bind the demons, the Wardens did it of their own free will. Fear is a very good motivator, and they were very afraid. That's a lie. The Grey Wardens are heroes. They would never do this willingly. The Grey Wardens care about nothing save stopping blights. They will do anything to accomplish that. You should have seen Clarell agonize over the decision. Burdens of command, I suppose, in the world. Release the Wardens from the binding and surrender. I won't ask twice. No, you won't. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you were foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the Fade. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be...
They refuse to listen to reason. As you feared, the mages who completed the ritual are under the thrall of Corypheus. And the Warden Warriors? Of course. Sacrificed in the ritual. What a waste. Eremons lied to the Wardens. They were trying to prevent future blights. With blood magic and human sacrifice. Despite their lack of wisdom, they acted out of necessity. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. In the direction Eremon fled, the only structure of note is an abandoned warden fortress, adamant. I suspect we'll find the wardens there. <laughs> I suppose it's fortunate a friend once gave me some old maps. Good thinking. The warden and I will scout out adamant and confirm that the other wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. That is the child. He knows nothing. Of you. Of any of it. And when will you tell him? He is an innocent. As we all were. Once. <laughs> Talk tell you, we tracked Eremon to Adamant Fortress. Idiots, so devoted to their cause that they abandoned all common sense. How could the Wardens do this? What did the Warden Commander tell them? Morel said we were making a hard decisions necessary to fight future blights. Wardens do what is necessary to stop the Darkspawn. We're the only ones who truly can. It's a burden few can imagine. Although, with that mark on your hand, perhaps you can. I'll talk to you later. I went to Warden Logan to give my respects. He knew me. He even remembered my name. Best commander this world will ever know. <laughs> 